lot. It's supposed to be pushy. All right, welcome back. Uh, we are finally going to get back at uh, some filming. So I just want to catch everyone up on what all we've been doing. Um, it's been a long winter. Um, really ready to actually get some cars back out. Um, so as far as shop stuff, uh, not a lot's changed. We've got Jake's car. I think I said that at the end of the last one that I was going to get to do some work. So it's been here. A lot of parts are ordered. His motor and some brakes and things. We're still waiting for parts to come in. We've got my car. My car got pulled apart for some electrical upgrades and things. And you see we got a fancy shift knob, so we'll do some flat shift testing here soon. Darian's car got all kinds of upgrades, so we finished making it wider, lower, stiffer, all the engine upgrades, lightened it. Um, this car is now down to 24.95, so we are at an awesome race weight, and it just got back from the dyno, so um, I'm sure he'll make something about that, but made about 235 horsepower, so some intern numbers for right now, I'm not trying to push things too hard. And new cars in the shop, let's see, what do we have here? So we got that Viper up there with the EB110. And we've got this 95, 92? What year is this? 96 Viper GTS. And I think the truck was already here, but if, two other cool cars. Uh, I've got this red NSX here. Um, pretty excited about it. 95 in awesome condition, pretty low mileage, like 15,000. And we also got a Supra. Um, kind of a little bit of a beater, but it's an automatic. I don't know, it seemed cool when I saw it. Uh, Amanda bought a horse, so we were getting rid of the Jeep and bought a horse. So his name's Joe, uh, we just posted a video about that. Um, Joe is our new barrel racing horse, also I've been learning to ride, so it's been kind of interesting. Get into some other forms of racing, got a little trailer for it we've been working on. The other thing, which seems to take up all my winter, this isn't the first time I've gone down this road, but we bought a whole bunch of RC cars, so made friends at Barrett Jackson, at Barrett Jackson, with uh, Mike, uh, the owner of Traxxas. So we picked ourselves up this fleet of Traxxas cars, plus a couple of oldies that I've had kicking around. Uh, some of them have had a bad day. But uh, so yeah, apparently I'm now just a repair shop for Traxxas cars. This takes up way too much time and I need to stop. Let's see, more shelving got built, things got more organized, more cars, Jake's stuff. This is pretty cool. The other day we made some body racks, just some racks. They hold bumpers and doors and things. Okay, so main priority today, uh, we need to get Darian's car sorted out. There is an issue with the throttle body. So basically, if I go full throttle for too long, uh, we get an error and it closes the throttle for us. Um, and then it goes in a limp mode, get the key cycle. Uh, I had this issue once before, and it was actually alternator noise uh, from bad diodes. But the one in there isn't, isn't that old. so. If it's not that, it's probably the larger throttle body we put in. Um, first off, we need to go figure out how to make it happen consistently so we can test it, and then we'll throw some parts at it. So we do need to get both S2000s actually 100% running. Um, the Charlotte Pro Solo is coming up in less than a month.
quick key cycle and we're good. Alright, back to the shop. No tire around here. Maybe when we spun around, we just slipped the clutch a little bit. Charlie, are you over it? User error. I did put the bolt in the intake manifold brace, which is just this bolt right down here. And yeah, it turns out that without that, the intake manifold vibrates just a little too much for the throttle body. So I think I've learned my lesson before on that. Just didn't remember to uh, apparently do it when I put this head on. So all good now. So we'll, uh, we'll take it for a rip and. We also need to make sure the car launches okay. So that'll be fun. Let's do that. Don't be scared. It's a little more difficult with the stiffer springs. It wants to bite you a little bit. It's very pushy. It's, it should be. Yeah. It's supposed to be pushy in this lot. I got really sideways up top and I like, eh. And then all of a sudden I was like, grip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you gotta practice launching it. The limiter's okay there. It's not too aggressive, I think. Especially for Charlotte. Keep us from breaking stuff. Okay, it's going away. Uh, It'll keep us from breaking stuff. Yeah. Is that like 5,400? It does smell. I know. It's the clutch. I know. I have to ride it a little bit to get the slip, but it will be fine for Charlotte. It may be really pushy there. It's just this lot. It's supposed to be pushy. It's new asphalt, it's not rubbered in. It's also 30 fucking degrees out. Yeah. Also, those tires are cording. So, let's not read into it too much. All right, back in the shop.
little update under the hood. We've got things just fitted a little tighter and better on the air box. We've got a little separate intake here. Little hole cut with a velocity stack. Plus some fresh air from around the radiator. Everything over here is all cleaned out. Batteries in the wheel well. Kind of tucked down in there. And everything's probably the same way. Uh, it's on E85 now, so that's fun. So I had some ID1000 injectors I put in it. I haven't done anything with catch can yet. It's still just a Gatorade bottle with holes. But it's working. And with this new motor, we have like 2% leak down. So no more uh, pressure inside the valve cover. So we're not... not uh, blowing oil out into that catch can so no big deal now top is on the car temporarily and we gotta get the Lexan put in but yeah looking pretty cool now it just needs all the graphics redone all right well that's pretty much gonna wrap it up um, this car seems pretty damn close for Charlotte um, we got some work to do on my car next so we'll do that tomorrow and um, Take it out for some test launches. Uh, obviously, it's a little harder on its equipment with all the extra power, so uh, we need to make sure it survives a couple. Usually, if it'll survive two or three, then it'll last, uh, as long as we don't go crazy. But um, that's it for today. Thanks for uh, stopping back by on the channel, and hopefully we can start up our weekly content again. <laughs>